and welcome back to the lab. I am in my space. But remember, wherever you're doing science, that's your lab, that's your space. The world is your oyster or lab. It's up to you. But today what we are going to do is we are going to build a bridge and get over it. We're building build multiple bridges. And we're actually going to talk to you and show you about the principles of how you can spread weight out, how you can hold weight up, and actually how you can see these, this science in action in the world around you, all the way around Ireland, all around the world. These things, the principles that we're gonna use now, very simple, very straightforward, but you can see them in action. This one that all you're gonna need today to do to this is, a, to do 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 this, I mean, I'm speaking perfectly here, is some books or two pieces of even ground separated and a sheet of paper. Um, there we go, we've built a bridge. Congratulations, we'll see you next time. No? Okay, no. No, this is just our first step that we're gonna do right now. It is a bridge between, and some bridges look like this. If you have something strong enough, it can hold enough weight, you can walk over it. But even with, I've got some money here, I've got a five cent coin. If I put this on that, it falls and collapses straight away. But how could we make it better? How could we improve it? What shapes or what have we observed in the big wide world? Well, if you've ever seen a railway bridge, often there's arches, this kind of a shape. Another sheet of paper, that kind of a shape. And arches are actually one of the strongest structures that you can create because what they do is they distribute or spread out the weight. So if you have a force acting down this way, it spreads the weight out over all of these different bits as opposed to just acting straight down on one bit, spreading that out. So even if we put this in here like that, so we've got an arch in the middle, there in between our books and then we put our flat bit on the top you'll see that kind of looks like a railway bridge now you see the trains will go over here and we go through and if we take our five cent if i put this on top of it now it stays up and if i get loads of money here actually really did my so we put another one here so it holds two can we put another one on okay so we'll take a 10 cent piece this time and I'll put it on is that the okay so it crashes down like so You'll see that this design of bridge is great for that amount of weight, but it wouldn't work for heavier weights. Could we improve it even more? Maybe. So with this, we're gonna put two folds. We're gonna put about two and a half centimeter fold along this way. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Uh, same length. Along this side. So again, just a sheet of paper. So now what we have is a shape like that. So you've got two folds in it. We put this in the middle. Five cent piece. Stays up. Why do you think this is happening? What's different this time? Another five cent. Will we try the 10 cent as well? Holds up at 20 cents. So now we've got five, five, 20, 10, 50. Another 50, another 50. And all because we just put two folds in. So we put that rigidity and that strength has been added into this sheet of paper. Another one, it's a euro. Okay, I kind of dropped that one on there. But you'll see how shapes really make a difference in how strong something is. So let's take it to another level then. If we did something like this, what if we added more folds to it? Would it make it stronger? What do you think? So with this one, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna add, do the same kind of thing as with the walled bridge, which is like a, a fold on each side of it. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna add more of them. So I'm gonna fold it this way. Then I'm gonna fold it again, right beside it. So another fold. Then I'm gonna do another fold. So do you think this will be stronger or weaker this time? What do you think, what happened last time that we added two folds? Did it make it stronger or weaker? Now if we're adding, well, is it four or five folds now? Will that make it four or five times stronger? So now you've kind of got this corrugated shape or like a, see so you've got triangle, 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 but you've got folds all the way down. Now if you put this across like that, then we put in the ones that we put in before. So it's already looking like it's as strong as the other one. Now the last time with this one, this didn't, that broke the other one with just the walls. It's already slid up there now like that. More, more. There's another one, a Euro one. Oh, it's starting to go. Another one, another one, another one. So it's surprising. It's really actually impressive how just some folds of paper can make something much, much, much more stronger than it was, even just by folding something. So you're doing engineering by just folding things and adding them together. 
Bridges and shapes can be strong in one direction, but weak in another. Like if you had a cylinder, so if we roll this into a cylinder shape, which is like a circle down like that way, and I have a little bit of tape here. So I take my tape and I tape a little bit here. So if you've got a cylinder like this, which direction do you think is it going to be really strong in? Well, like if you have something like this and you press down on it, it's actually pretty strong. But if you were to push this way, already a bit. So it's weak in one direction, but strong in another. And actually, could we, if I do that, and I make another couple. I'm gonna test something, just had an idea. We'll try it out there like that. So what I'm gonna try and do with this, is I'm gonna try and hold up some of these books with paper. Now, these weigh a lot. So it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so if I have them up like that, so there's my three of them, like that. So far, so good. Hold on, stay, stay, good, okay. So let's try this. And I would just like to say that that's pretty impressive because that's three sheets of paper that are very weak in one direction. But when you put them together and even like even maybe that's why they'd be strong or if you did them big, this is an opportunity for you to do some testing, do some building and see how many, how high, how many books could you put on? Send them into us at orte.ie forward slash learn or social media or even by post. And maybe you can do things. Oh, is it twisting? No, it's safe. <laughs> I'm, I'm really impressed with this. Yes, thank you, I know. It's brilliant. Look, I mean, it probably won't take another one because it's, yeah, I shouldn't have breathed. See, I, I, I actually exhaled a little bit too much in that direction. So weak in that direction, strong in this direction. Have a go yourself and see how you get on. See you next time.